The shining red rocks on the outskirts of Colorado Springs are a most striking spectacle within the Garden of the Gods, a magnificent place. The huge red sandstone rock formations rise to a height of up to 150 meters. These natural monuments are a reminder of the geological past of this extraordinary region situated at the foot of the Rocky Mountains. The Garden of the Gods also features traces of man as it was known to the Native American Indians many centuries ago. Protected by the rocky terrain, the Ute Indians found this to be an ideal place in which to spend the winter months. The tribe's winter camps existed here up until the late 19th century. A combination of three ecological systems, indigenous wildlife and vegetation, provided a good source of nourishment for the Indians. Ute not only used the Garden of the Gods as a winter camp, but also as a starting point for their journeys through the Ute Pass. The Ute Pass was originally used by vast herds of bison that traveled from the Great Plains to the mountain meadows of the Rocky Mountains. For centuries, the Ute Indians followed the bison herds on their journeys through the mountain pass that now bears the name of this Indian tribe. With the growing numbers of white settlers in the west of the United States, the region saw much transformation. Today's Garden of the Gods Park exists due to a former director of the Chicago, Burlington and Quincy Railroad Company. In 1897, Charles Eliot Perkins purchased large sections of this area. He wanted to have his own private holiday home here. But the mysterious beauty of the strange rocks made him change his original plans. And he decided that this area should remain unspoilt. Thanks to Charles Perkins' ideals, the captivating and mysterious atmosphere of this wonderful landscape has been preserved. The seemingly endless variety of sandstone fascinated both Perkins and the Indian inhabitants of this region. And even today, the reddish rock needles and the steep rock walls capture the imagination of all those who come here. The region's geology and the way it has developed has made the Garden of the Gods a special place. Three hundred million years ago, the rock here formed part of various horizontal layers of sediment. 
Tectonic forces within the earth gradually elevated the rock. And now the local wildlife and vegetation has found this to be an ideal habitat that also protects them. Birds of prey circle high above the Garden of the Gods. In many other areas of the USA, they're threatened by extinction. The extraordinary variety of rock here has attracted much public attention since the earliest days of the park. And the Ute Indians have treated it as sacred. This impressive work of nature seems to possess a majestic power that both fascinates and stimulates the senses. Tectonic activity is still present here. And the power of erosion continues to shape the sandstone. Rain, wind, ice and melting snow have gradually created the elevated layers of rock in the Garden of the Gods and have given it its unique appearance. The surrounding landscape enchants due to its spectacular beauty. Small forests and meadows are in stark contrast to this world of natural stone. In the 19th century, the region's landscape captured much public attention. News of its beauty spread far and wide. The sight of these huge stone giants and the natural forces of nature continue to astonish visitors. Despite the beauty of the rock that had much religious significance for the native Indians, the name of the park did not originate from the Indian language. It's believed that two land surveyors who came here in 1859 gave this area its name. A fitting name indeed for this magnificent world of bright red sandstone. The rocks in the Garden of the Gods, silent witnesses to a unique geological development and a true wonder of nature.